What is good, YouTube? Watched you here with a video on Deadpool and Wolverine, aka Deadpool 3. So we are in Deadpool month coming out very soon. Officially releases on July the 26th. But as you know, in certain countries with different time zones, there's always special screeners. It's most likely going to be viewable for most people on the 25th of July. Not only that, we have Kevin Feige at San Diego Comic Con. Literal days after this movie comes out. And as we know, this movie is going to set up Kang's Dynasty, Avengers 6. The end of the movie we're going to talk about, and careful for spoilers, this end of the movie, just like Doctor Strange 2, literally tells you exactly where the Marvel Cinematic Universe is going. So, yo, well, it's freaking good YouTube watch you have your own neuromix subscribe to never miss any of the Marvel DC Kaiju Monsterverse pop culture based content that I try to cover personally. On a day basis, could scratch out, turn notifications on. And let me know how freaking excited are you for this movie? Did you get tickets to the fan events they're doing, the preview events? Which is mainly for influencers, people with followings, and sometimes fans are actually getting to attend them. So let me know, did you attend them kind of events? There is one in England next week, towards the end of next week, and I can't confirm or deny if I'm going to be attending it. But you know what will happen if I do attend it. Also, please follow us on Instagram at WashDu to see their beautiful face behind their beautiful voice. Also, check us out on Twitter, WashDuG. And if you could support the channel by coming to channel member for less than 99p, less than $1, you don't get any perks, but it really does help keep the channel lights on. So, as we know, there is a huge worldwide press tour for Deadpool and Wolverine at the moment. And they're being very clever about it, realistically. They're not showing the whole movie, they're showing 30 to 40 minutes of the movie. There seems to be a heavy NDA out there. Why? Because no one is talking about actual real in-depth plot details. Why? Because no one's actually talking about specific details. They're only telling you little bits here and there, which tells you there's a huge NDA. And they want people talking about this because it's free PR. They invite people with huge followings to these kind of events. So they tell their audience and then they go watch it. And I'm assuming there will be full screeners just before the world premiere on the 22nd and before the release. So careful for huge spoilers because we're going to talk about how this movie actually sets up the rest of the multiversal saga and also we're going to talk about the cameos and which ones are real and which ones aren't real so sean levy keeps going yo this is a deadpool movie and realistically it's a deadpool movie so it's deadpool 3 it's not deadpool 1 of the the mcu deadpool series like people seem to think it is so the reason this is a standalone deadpool movie is because Deadpool is not interested in helping the MCU. He wants to do his own thing. But because he wants to do his own thing, it's going to have massive ramifications because it's taking place inside the MCU, if you like. So essentially what happens is they explain to Wade Wilson that Logan's universe is decaying. After the death of Wolverine in Logan, don't worry, it's not going to affect the Logan, the real Logan because he was an anchor entity. Now, I get it, this entity thing has been around for such a long time, and yes, there is so many plot holes, because Tom Holland, Spider-Man, is supposed to be the anchor for the main MCU, but he disappeared because he was snapped. I get it, there's lots of incontinuity with this, but I'm sure they're going to explain it. Meaning, if he's taken away from his universe or killed, his universe dies. So in Multiverse of Madness, they, they explain the incursions, they explain a lot of the things, but the way this movie ends, it's literally setting up what is coming. They tell him it usually takes thousands of years for a universe to die. And I get it, Tom Holland Spider-Man didn't go away for long, but I still think it's a major plot hole. But they want to speed up the process, so they use some sort of device to achieve this. It motivates Deadpool a little bit to help him. They give him a choice. Go back to your universe and die with it, or move to the sacred timeline to carry out the higher purpose. We've literally seen this in the first trailer. He decides he doesn't want to go to the sacred timeline. Instead, he wants to go back to his own world and save it. And this is why it's a Deadpool movie, because he wants to save his universe. He doesn't give a f about the MCU or the sacred timeline, regards to how you want to talk it. It's just semantics. So it's interesting. TVA doesn't want that. So they try to stop him. He kills some agents that we've seen, goes on a side quest to get a Wolverine variant on his quest to save it from dying. And how does the movie end? The movie essentially ends the following. Tries to get back to the TVA from there to Deadpool's world before it ends up dying. So Deadpool's universe is going to decay. It's go There's going to be some kind of variance of an incursion and it's going to explode, essentially. And we know this is the case because we've seen what happens during Multiverse of Madness. So how 
does this set up what is coming? So we know Kang is still going to be part of the multiversal saga. Disney still has Kang's dynasty on the slate as the Kang's dynasty. We know according to so-called scoopers, they are filming Avengers 5 in the UK next year and Avengers 6 in the UK next year. So it's supposed to be a back-to-back -back release, back-to-back -back filming. There's going to be over 60 heroes. Yeah, that's not really a scoop, bro. It's a bit obvious that in Avengers 5 and Avengers 6, there's going to be literally every single character we've ever seen and the most likely going to bring back, or not really bring back, a variation of every OG Avenger it's really easy. They can do exactly what they did with Wolverine. Just do it with an Iron Man. Find another Iron Man out there that's not good. He's not bad. He, he can turn into the MCU Iron Man again if he wants. And they're not going to ruin the I love you 3000 scene. That's very cute. They're not going to ruin the I am Iron Man scene. So it's essentially going to set up Multiversal Saga because it's literally going to erupt and corrupt and destroy Deadpool's universe to the point where Deadpool's going to have to go somewhere and it's really going to show you that a real ramification of the multiverse while staying grounded, whilst being a Deadpool movie. And it's just freaking exciting where they're going forward with this, with this. Because it really does show you, yo, and we've seen in the trailer, there was a Secret War comic book Easter egg. I hate Easter eggs. But yeah, there was a comic book that popped up in the first trailer before we got the Wolverine reveal. And don't worry, he is going to don the cow, but he ain't going to don it for very long, so... Make that what you want. Are we getting a final trailer? I can't get a real answer out of anyone. I really can't get an answer. At the point now where I think the preview event is actually the final trailer. So the movie is essentially about Deadpool trying to find a Wolverine to save his universe. But ultimately he's going to fail and his universe is going to decay anyway. And this movie is actually going to explain so much about the anchored entities and all that kind of stuff and we're going to see Deadpool's universe explode it's going to set up what will be Avengers 5 and Avengers 6 so the cameos are very interesting because we've had the preview events and people say lots of cameos lots of cameos and then there's the false information going around that Blake Lively is the voice of Deadpool female Deadpool being Lady Deadpool as far as we know on this channel and as far as I've spoken to people there's a lot of people saying, yeah, I've had people speak to me about the Shanghai event. And yeah, it's definitely Blake Lively. Well, I've heard so many different interpretations of that to the point where I don't even think they're going to reveal it. So which cameos are most likely going to be real? So Patch, variant of Wolverine being played by Daniel Radcliffe. The Henry Cavill scene apparently is 100% true. X-23 played by Daphne Keene. She's in it for a little bit more than a cameo. We know there's lots of different variations of Deadpool and Wolverine. Kid pool, baby pool, head pool, dog pool, samurai pool, Wolverine pool. So many different variations of Deadpool. Lady Deadpool as well, definitely in the movie. Lady Deathstrike, Toad, Pyro, Magneto's helmet. There is a rumor of Wolverine's son being in the movie, but I can't get that confirmed or verified. Professor X, but in a flashback sequence where all the X-Men die. Magneto also Dino Paul's supposed to be in the movie as well and we may be getting Savage Land but I can't get that confirmed or verified by anyone so Channing Tatum Gambit is in the movie as far as we understand Chris Evans Human Torch you can literally see him in the trailer Tara Strong Miss Minutes is supposed to be in the movie Taylor Swift I, I don't actually think she's in the movie at all I just think that's some hypergly marketing for some kind of reason. Jennifer, Electra, definitely in the movie. A variation of Juggernaut. I've been told it's not Benny Jones, but we will see who actually plays that character. Halle Berry, Storm, 100% in the movie. And there are some wild ones, but Jessica Alba, Sue Storm in the movie, allegedly. Sabretooth in the movie. B-15 would kind of be weird if B-15 wasn't in the movie. And then we have the wild ones like there is. The funny thing about this Hulk versus Wolverine where Deadpool gets thrown into portal when they're about to fight is no one can tell you which Hulk it is. And that's what I find interesting about these rumors. They can tell you stuff, but realistically, they can never actually say who it is. It's just Cap. We know we're going to get archive footage from the Avengers movies. So you will see Cap Iron Man on a screen, but does that count? I don't know. Allegedly, She-Hulk is in the movie. Allegedly, Thanos is in the movie. Agent Mobius, played by Owen Wilson, is allegedly in the movie. Apparently, Renslayer is also in the movie to set something up with Ramatut. If they're still going that way, it's interesting because 
as far as I know, there is a lot of things in this movie that no one even knows is in the movie. So it's very exciting. People keep trying to sell me that Loki's in the movie, but he's just trying to hold things together. So is he in the movie? I don't know. I don't really care who's actually in the movie. I just think it's fascinating to go over these theories of who's actually in it. Because you've got to remember, Blade, played by Wesley Snipes, was not into the movie till literally just before they started to do the press tour. Out of the blue, out of nowhere, he's randomly in the movie, which, again, I find it fascinating. Apparently, there's a variation of Nightcrawler in the movie. It's wild, because all these rumors keep appearing from somewhere. And yeah, sure, from the information going around about the Shanghai screener, there's supposed to be lots of cameos. But the interesting thing is, no one's actually talking about the cameos that haven't already been spoken about. So Sean Levy came out and said this. There are some moments in the movie that if you can hear the dialogue over the laughter, we fail. It's interesting. It really is. So as far as we understand, that's how the movie ends. And that's how it sets up the MCU multiverse side going forward. As for the actual post credit scene and the mid credit scene, no one knows what it is. The Iron Man thing, the setting up a new Avengers team. No one knows what it is until they actually show the full movie. Sure, if some random scooper comes out and says what it is, sure, we cover it because we cover theories, rumors, plot leaks. We cover everything on this channel. I always tell you my personal opinion. And at the moment, no one knows what the post credit scene is. They really don't. Although some people are trying to make out they do, but no one's actually going to come out and say it. Just like they weren't going to come out and say the Iron Man thing because no one was confident to say it until they knew it wasn't going to happen. So was it ever going to happen? I don't know. We just report stuff on this channel that I think you guys will like. So like always, guys, check us out on Instagram at WarsG, check out on Twitter at G. And I will catch you in another video very soon, guys. Catch ya later.